Your first AP Bio test is right around the corner. Let's break down what to expect for chemistry of life, how to tackle multiple choice and free response questions, and some common traps you want to avoid. If you want to earn the most points possible on your Unit 1 exam, stick around. Hey, I'm Melanie Kingett from The Absolute Recap, and I make AP Bio easier with podcasts, study guides, videos, the ultimate review packet, and the ultimate exam slayer. Unit one covers the foundation of biology, the chemistry that makes life possible. You'll see questions about the structure and properties of water, like why it's polar and why that matters for life, macromolecules, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Know their monomers, functions, and key structural features. Elements and where to expect them, including factors that affect bonding. Basics of chemical bonding, ionic, covalent, hydrogen bonds, and how these influence molecules and living things. Your teacher might be implementing AP pacing right out of the gate and even testing across two days. So expect about 25 multiple choice questions in a 45 minute class period and about 17 FRQ points for the same length of time. This is equivalent to one long and two short free response questions. On the multiple choice, expect scenario-based questions asking you to apply concepts. For example, a question might describe how a change in pH affects protein folding or ask you to predict a molecule's behavior based on its components. Tip number one, read each question carefully and underline keywords. Words like most likely, except, or best explanation matter a lot. Tip number two, use process of elimination. Even if you don't know the answer immediately, rule out obviously wrong choices. This increases your chance of guessing right. If you're using the online testing software in the Ultimate Exam Slayer or an AP Classroom, the Mark for Review button and Strikeout tool are your best friends. Tip number three, watch for common misconceptions. Water isn't just wet. Know why its polarity and hydrogen bonding make it special. Not all lipids are fats. Be clear on the difference between fats, phospholipids, and steroids. And amino acids and nucleic acids aren't in the same molecule. Amino acids are monomers of proteins, named for their amino group. Nucleic acids are the polymers of nucleotides, like with DNA. Tip number four, pay attention to diagrams of molecular structures. You might be asked to identify bonds or parts of a molecule. Practice sketching simple structures such as a nucleotide before the test. It helps. FRQs can seem intimidating, but here's the secret. Show your thinking clearly. Use correct vocabulary, words like hydrophilic, or denaturation can earn you easy points. Address all parts of the question and the task verb. I have a full task verb breakdown with examples for you to download in the ultimate review packet. Draw simple label diagrams if it helps explain your answer. They might earn you points, even if your wording isn't perfect. Remember to connect concepts. If you talk about surface tension, make sure to describe how it is influenced by water polarity. Let's talk about some traps students fall into on unit one tests. Mixing up hydrophilic and hydrophobic. Hydrophilic means water loving. Hydrophobic means water fearing. Don't get these flipped. Confusing monomers and polymers. Remember, polymers are made of repeating monomers. For example, glucose is a monomer and starch is a polymer. Forgetting to explain how or why. A lot of points are earned by showing your understanding, not just naming facts. Chemistry of life is the foundation for everything you'll learn in AP Bio. So mastering these basics will set you up for success all year long. And remember, practice builds confidence. Go try the full Unit 1 practice test by signing up for a free preview of the Ultimate Exam Slayer. And all the study guides, practice worksheets, and quizzes in the Ultimate Review Packet are available to you for free as well. Review those macromolecules and water properties until they feel second nature. Stay calm, read carefully, and answer with confidence. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next recap.